The tomb consists of four chambers and an entrance staircase and corridor. It is smaller and less extensively decorated than other Egyptian royal tombs of its time, and it probably originated as a tomb for a non-royal individual. Egypt is a land of myth, legend, and mystery. Its history goes back so far that we think of Cleopatra as ancient, and yet to Cleopatra, the pyramids were already so ancient that she had archaeologists investigate them. Ancient Egypt was unlike any other country in the world, and there's still much that we don't know about it. The ancient Egyptian civilization can be traced back to approximately 3000 BC, and it lasted more than 3000 years, after which it fell under the Greek, then Roman, and finally Muslim control. Being one of history's greatest civilizations flourished along the winding Nile River in Northeast Africa, the ancient civilization's glories were buried under layers of these different cultures, only to surface again centuries later, as archaeologists and historians embraced the study known as Egyptology. Its long duration shows that the civilization was provided with all necessities, such as a good natural environment, including water, fish, fertile soil, and plants, but also with rich architecture as seen in the pyramids which required the use of accurate measurements and mathematics, and durable materials. Discoveries and inventions. When we speak about Egypt, many things could come to mind, for example the Great Pyramids, the beauty of Cleopatra, or maybe the glorious mask of Tutankhamun. Some of you may also think about the pictorial writing system known as hieroglyphics, which were found carved and written on many different surfaces such as papyrus, stone, and wood. However, the list of Egyptian inventions and discoveries is very long and cannot be compiled in one video. These inventions and discoveries fall under the following categories. Government. Economy. Warfare. Agriculture. Animal husbandry. Transport. Metals, elements, and materials medicine, mathematics, science, astronomy, tools and machines, arts and architecture, sports, cuisines, clothing and cosmetics, and many others. What really scares the scientists is the fact that hundreds or thousands or perhaps millions or billions of secrets are still buried in Egypt's history. Also, several pyramids, tombs, coffins, phoenixes, artifacts, and treasures are yet to be found. Let's have a look at some of the most incredible Egyptian inventions and discoveries. 1. Khufu Ship The Khufu Ship is an intact full-size solar bark from ancient Egypt. It was sealed into a pit at the foot of the Great Pyramid of Pharaoh Khufu around 2500 BC, during the 4th dynasty of the ancient Egyptian Old Kingdom. Like other buried ancient Egyptian ships, it was apparently part of the extensive grave goods intended for use in the afterlife. The Khufu ship is one of the oldest, largest, and best preserved vessels from antiquity and has been identified as the world's oldest intact ship. Also, described as, a masterpiece of woodcraft, that could sail today if put into a lake or a river. It is of the type known as a, solar barge, a ritual vessel believed by ancient Egyptians to carry the resurrected king across the heavens with the sun god Ra. 2. The Unfinished Obelisk The Unfinished Obelisk is the largest known ancient obelisk and is in the northern region of the stone quarries of ancient Egypt in Aswan, Egypt. It was studied in detail by Reginald Engelbach in 1922. The obelisk and wider quarry were inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1979, along with other examples of Upper Egyptian architecture, as part of the Nubian monuments from Abu Simbel to Philae. Its creation was ordered by Hatshepsut 1508-1458 BC, possibly to complement what would later be known as the Lateran Obelisk. 3. The Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid of Giza is the biggest Egyptian pyramid and the tomb of 4th dynasty Pharaoh Khufu. Built in the early 26th century BC during a period of around 27 years, the pyramid is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and the only one to remain largely intact. The Great Pyramid had been attributed to Khufu based on the words of authors of classical antiquity, first and foremost Herodotus and Diodorus Siculus. However, during the Middle Ages, several other people were credited with the construction of the pyramid as well, for example Joseph, Nimrod or King Sorit. The Great Pyramid was built by quarrying an estimated 2.3 million large blocks, weighing 6 million tons in total. There are three known chambers inside the Great Pyramid. The lowest was cut into the bedrock, upon which the pyramid was built, but remained unfinished. The so-called Queen's Chamber and King's Chamber, that contains a granite sarcophagus, are higher up, within the pyramid structure. Khufu's Vizier, 
Hemianu, also called Heman, is believed by some to be the architect of the Great Pyramid. 4. Tomb of Tutankhamun. The Tomb of Tutankhamun, also known by its tomb number, KB62, is the burial place of Tutankhamun, reign 1334-1325 BC, a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, in the Valley of the Kings. The tomb consists of four chambers and an entrance staircase and corridor. It is smaller and less extensively decorated than other Egyptian royal tombs of its time, and it probably originated as a tomb for a non-royal individual that was adapted for Tutankhamun's use after his premature death. Like other pharaohs, Tutankhamun was buried with a wide variety of funerary objects and personal possessions, such as coffins, furniture, clothing, and jewelry, though in the unusually limited space these goods had to be densely packed. Robbers entered the tomb twice in the years immediately following the burial, but Tutankhamun's mummy and most of the burial goods remained intact. The tomb's low position, dug into the floor of the valley, allowed its entrance to be hidden by debris deposited by flooding and tomb construction. Thus, unlike other tombs in the valley, it was not stripped of its valuables during the Third Intermediate Period. Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered in 1922 by excavators led by Howard Carter. As a result of the quantity and spectacular appearance of the burial goods, the tomb attracted a media frenzy and became the most famous find in the history of Egyptology. Tutankhamun reigned as pharaoh between 1334 and 1325 BC, towards the end of the 18th dynasty during the New Kingdom. He took the throne as a child after the death of Akhenaten, who was probably his father, and the subsequent brief reigns of Neferneferu Aten and Smankare. One of Tutankhamun's major acts was the restoration of traditional religious practice. 5. Deir el Medina, or the Town of the Tomb Builders. Deir el Medina is an ancient Egyptian workman's village which was home to the artisans who worked on the tombs in the Valley of the Kings during the 18th to 20th dynasties of the New Kingdom of Egypt, 1550 to 1080 BCE. The settlement's ancient name was Set Mayat, Place of Truth, and the workmen who lived there were called Servants in the Place of Truth. During the Christian era, the Temple of Hathor was converted into a church from which the Egyptian Arabic name Deir el Medina, Monastery of the City, is derived. A significant find of papyri was made in the 1840s in the vicinity of the village, and many objects were also found during the 19th century. Around 5,000 ostraca of assorted works of commerce and literature were found in a well close to the village. The peak overlooking the village was renamed, Monserna Bru, in recognition of Cerny and Bruyere's work on the village. 6. Tomb KV-17 Located in Egypt's Valley of the Kings, is the tomb of Pharaoh Seti I of the 19th dynasty. It is one of the best decorated tombs in the valley. In the modern era, it was discovered by Giovanni Battista Belzoni on the 16th of October 1817. The longest tomb in the valley, at 137.19 meters, it contains very well-preserved reliefs in all but two of its 11 chambers and side rooms. A very long tunnel leads away deep into the mountainside from beneath the location where the sarcophagus stood in the burial chamber. 7. Lost Akmim. Akmim is a city in the Sohag Governorate of Upper Egypt. Referred to by the ancient Greeks as Chemis, or Chemis, and Panopolis. It was known in ancient Egypt as Ipu, Apu or Kent Min. It was the capital of the 9th Chemet, Nome of Upper Egypt. The city is a suggested hometown for Yuya, the official of Tuthmosis IV and Amenhotep III. Herodotus, an ancient Greek historian and geographer, mentions the temple dedicated to Perseus, the legendary founder of Mycenae and of the Persia dynasty, and asserts that Chemis was remarkable for the celebration of games in honor of that hero. In the 13th century AD, a very imposing temple still stood in Akhmim. However, little of its past glory remains today. 8. The Greater Temple of Abu Simbel Abu Simbel is a historic site comprising two massive rock-cut temples. The twin temples were originally carved out of the mountainside in the 13th century BC, during the 19th dynasty reign of the pharaoh Ramesses II. They serve as a lasting monument to the king Ramesses II. His wife Nefertari and children can be seen in smaller figures by his feet, considered to be of lesser importance and were not given the same position of scale. This commemorates his victory at the Battle of Kadesh. Their huge external rock relief figures have become iconic. During his reign, Ramesses II embarked on an extensive building program throughout Egypt and Nubia, which Egypt controlled. 
Nubia was very important to the Egyptians because it was a source of gold and many other precious trade goods. He, therefore, built several grand temples there to impress upon the Nubians, Egypt's might, and Egyptianize the people of Nubia. Construction of the temple complex started in approximately 1264 BC and lasted for about 20 years, until 1244 BC. It was known as the Temple of Ramesses, beloved by Amun. 9. Royal Cash. In 1871, in the cliffs of Deir el Bari, not far from Luxor in Egypt, a young boy accidentally discovered a hidden tomb in the belly of the mountain near his home. He and his family looted the tomb for over a decade until their activities became known to the Egyptian Antiquities Service. When archaeologists arrived, they were stunned by what they saw. The Royal Cache, technically known as TT320, is an ancient Egyptian tomb. It contains an extraordinary collection of mummified remains and funeral equipment of more than 50 kings, queens, and other royal family members of the New Kingdom, as it was used as a cache for royal mummies during the 21st dynasty. The 11 pharaohs found there include one of the 9 pharaohs from the 17th dynasty, 5 of the 15 pharaohs from the 18th dynasty, 3 of the 8 pharaohs from the 19th dynasty, and 2 of the 10 pharaohs from the 20th dynasty. The tomb was originally used as last resting place of high priest of Amun Pindium II, his wife Nesikans, and other close family members. 10. Valley of the Golden Mummies. The Valley of the Golden Mummies is a huge burial site at Baharia Oasis in the western desert of Egypt, dating to the Greco-Roman period. Discovered in 1996 by Zahi Hawass and his Egyptian team, approximately 250 mummies, which are approximately 2,000 years old, were recovered over the period of several seasons. Eventually, the excavator further estimated a total of more than 10,000 mummies. Many of the mummies were still in good condition when they were discovered. They were decorated in different styles. Artifacts had been buried with each mummy. Some examples include jewelry bracelets, pottery of food trays, wine jars, and Ptolemaic coins. Each mummy is different with the various styles and artifacts representing each individual. More detailed videos on further discoveries and findings will be shared in future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon to get informed about future videos.